Hey there everybody, today we are boondocking in the desert and I just wanted to show you Joel jumping around. No, look how, join the scenery all by ourselves. Not quite, there's a bunch of people behind the trailer but it's all, it's all in how you hold the camera. Anyway, day one, boondocking. Solar is holding up very well. Uh, water, we are learning to conserve taking a little bit of effort because the boys forget to turn off the water when they brush their teeth still, even though we only have limited water resources. But we're only planning to be out here for two days, so really it's not that much of a stretch. Next stretch is going to be about four or five days we're going to stay out in the beautiful desert. So we're trying to learn now how to conserve energy, how to conserve water so we could stay out as long as possible. Solar's holding up well. Last night, uh, it was at 100% when the sun set. And this morning, it was at about 60%. So we stepped down about 40% overnight. And we just did some quick math. Should be completely full by the time the sun sets tonight at dinner time. So if that's the case, then energy isn't an issue while we're off grid, which is kind of cool. But uh, conserving water is. Joel, what do you think about being out here all alone in the desert boondocking? It's fun. It's fun? Yes. No snakes so far? No snakes so far. No snakes so far? It's been a good day. That's uh, basically what it boils down to. Last night I told Ian to collect some wood and we're going to make a fire. And instead he collected some rocks and made his own fire pit. Because that's the kind of guy he is. This is one was already here. So we just had to put some effort into finding some wood. Ian decided, you know what? I'm going to make my own fire pit in the middle of the desert because that was the most efficient use of energy and by the time the sun set we had no wood but we had two fire pits so so that's something uh so anyway today we're going to collect wood and fill oh, ian's second, fire pit uh oh joel's got an idea who knows what this means so today we're going to collect some wood fill up Ian's fire pit. You see paper plates there that's so we could conserve water when we're out here in the middle of the desert. And uh, burn off the paper plates gives us some fire starter, but also conserve water and not have to use our water on dishes. Ian, Ian's found a ginormous log going into the fire tonight. Perfect. It's not a log. Great. It's a, it's a twig. Okay, it's a twig. We're out there. Anybody know where you find logs in in the desert. Okay, we're gonna have to figure that one out. We're a little, little bit rusty so far on the whole boondocking thing. Still trying to get it all figured it out. And uh, it looks like, see, there's this tree here. It looks like somebody decided to make their own log at some point. Uh, not me, but uh, I don't think I want to just start hacking down chunks of tree. Also, uh, I just wanted to show you this fun fact. Since it's our first time in the desert boondocking, I didn't realize that at times there might be a sign that says uh, camping boundaries. And we're, uh, it's ish, ish. I think we're fine, really. Nobody's, nobody said anything yet. So see how we survive, but next time we come out to the desert, obviously need to recognize that there are camping boundaries. Gotta be careful how far we come out. So anyway, I wanted to show you our trailer and a little bit of the scenery we're enjoying today. Yeah, a little bit more scenery. And uh, let me hear from you. Hey, if you had the opportunity, would you come out to the middle of the desert and boondock? camp in the trailer no electricity no water hookups obviously we have solar and we have some water in our tanks but would you do it would you give it a try or am i just crazy that's uh, an equal option what were you uh, looking for joel uh my flint and steel did you find it no joel's got flint and steel he's gonna start our fire for us tonight so anyway maybe we'll send you an update I'm let you know how that's going thank you everybody for watching and we will talk soon